I have renovated our house again and it's looking so good. We added a toddler room or twin toddler room to be more specific. We added big, beautiful windows to our lounge room. We now have a fenced backyard for our toddlers to play in, complete with like a little toddler play teepee. It's gonna be so cute to show you guys and check it out. I also have some really exciting news. I have a creator's code for the EA app. So if you guys want to support me as a creator whilst you're buying something from the EA app, you can put in my creator code Deligracy at the checkout and that will actually help support me. Um, so thank you in advance to anyone who does end up using the code. It's for a limited time and I really appreciate it. Also, I have cake batter on my desk, like actual cake batter from cooking yesterday. I guess I got it on my sleeve or something and then put it on my desk. That's nasty. Look at our beautiful house in the last part, our twins aged up to toddlers and I did pause aging for a little while just because I wanted to get the standing milestone um, and also one of the toddlers which it didn't really matter but one of the infants um, was a little bit slow at learning which is very realistic I'm sure with all twins usually there'll be one learning more slowly than the other um, but it also meant they were able to get a few more milestones as well since we're family, it'd be really nice if I could move in with you. What is with all of our family members wanting to move in? This is not the right time, mom. I mean, Monty just asked and now Kim is asking. It's just not a good time. <gasps> I think one of the twins are about to use the teepee. Oh no, she got scared of it. Who's that? Oh, that's Persephone there. So we've got these amazing windows at the back of the house. They look so good. I love this colorway as well with the blue. Oh, look at the toddlers walking around. And let me show a few changes from inside the house. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Kyle Kyleson. We're going to follow you in. Well, first up, we actually have pictures on the wall of both the infants or the infant life stage and toddlers. Then we have some pictures of the family. I just wanted the place to look more lived in, you know? I want to tell our family story. And we've got all of these beautiful pictures from Christmas time. Oh my gosh, the kitchen is so sad and dirty. We need to get better appliances because every Every single meal we make is going to be bad quality because we have the worst oven. Actually, in all fairness, I think this is the second worst oven, okay? This is the gorgeous light-filled lounge room. Amazing view out the back of that lake. So we've got a lot more room in here. And I've also set up some toddler playthings. We have potties here. We have building blocks, little chairs for them to sit on. You've seen outside, we have this lovely area, which one day we can expand on as well. Who knows? Maybe we'll have a pool one day. We've got our flowers undercover. Also, we have $300 to our name, so we definitely need to do some more florist arranging and knit some more things. The guest room now has a light beside the Murphy bed. Very exciting. But the best part is upstairs. Okay, this wall's a bit sad, but we'll work on that. When you go upstairs to the right, we have the main bedroom. This is looking pretty much the same, although we have an area where there's going to be a built-in wardrobe when we can afford it. I love that. And then over here, this is the toddler wing. Is this not the cutest thing? We've gone with like a blue and purple theme. Those curtains are from high school years. We've got the change table here and then um, the bathroom. And I know right now it would probably make more sense for the main bedroom to have the ensuite instead of the toddler room to have the ensuite. But I think we're going to end up still renovating and changing things. Now, in terms of the actual gameplay, how are we all doing? Rose is already yet communication level four so that's very good um but they're really hungry maybe Didi can get us some food oh my gosh we can bite Didi. i just want to see what happens were we always able to bite sims i don't know actually one of you guys ouch one of you guys were saying um you and your twin had to be separated because you were biting each other when you were when you were infants <gasps> oh no now rose is aggressive oh no i didn't realize that would give us an aggressive quirk she'll like to roughhouse and will be quick to hit bite or kick sims oh no yeah because depending on your gameplay it will affect the quirks they unlock oh kim's going home is kyle gonna feed us oh good i think he is oh and persephone asleep so cute asleep in the tent 
Well, Persephone's actually quite hungry as well. Oh my gosh, Yasmin just finished painting a masterpiece. Yes. I mean, it doesn't look that impressive, but if we list it on Plopsy, we will get an impressive return on this. Okay, so we're gonna put that up on Plopsy. Um, I also have some begonias here to sell. Can we put those on Plopsy? Oh, we can. I wonder if they'll spoil before they sell. I'm also thinking we don't need both laptops, although we'll probably have to buy one in the future, but I think for now we could get rid of one of the laptops for a bit of extra cash. I'm gonna harvest these roses. I'm also gonna give Rose a bath. Persephone's having food, and I have no idea what the toddler milestones are going to be, so they want to read their first book. <gasps> what? Kyle's becoming strict? Who would have thought? When it comes to Kyle and Rose, a sense of order seems to be abound as the younger Sim has a deep respect for their older family member, often meeting the older Sim's high expectations. For family members with a strict family dynamic, the older Sim will ask the younger Sim to do things like cleaning more, and the younger Sim will generally avoid rebelling. Though both might get more stressed overall. Well, I guess because Rose is like starting to bite. Unfortunately, I did that, but you know, now it's Rose's story. I guess maybe we will need to be a little bit strict. It might be necessary, but that doesn't mean we don't love Rose any less. First childhood friend I'd like, study shapes and learn to climb stairs, okay. So the milestones aren't just for infants. They definitely carry into toddlerhood. We're gonna have a bath. We might ask Dee Dee for a bit of potty help for Persephone. All right, let's speed this up so we get all nice and ready for bed. And if we get to bed quickly, we'll be able to have a bedtime story. Bedtime story from Kyle, please. Oh, uh, how, oh my gosh, look at that little nightgown. I didn't realize I hadn't um, given them nighttime outfits. Oh, I didn't get to read them a book. No, wait, I wanna read you a story, please. That's more like it. There we go. We need a bedtime story. Persephone's having some potty help. Poop. Poop like you've never pooped before. Now, the good thing is if one twin learns how to use the potty, then the other twin can learn from them, from observing them. Also, I feel like that potty's kind of scary with the face on it. Is that just me? Oh dear, it looks like we had a little bit of an accident. Let's see if Dolores can read us a bedtime story as well. You know, as much as I've made fun of Dee Dee for being a little on the wild side, she's really been the one helping out the most in the end. To begin with, she didn't help at all, but now, you know, she's a very important part of the family. Okay, well now everyone is in bed and Dee Dee's reading yet another story. <laughs> so I will resume in the morning. I also wanna let you guys know that aging is back on again. It's just on the normal lifespan. No, Dee Dee's leaving. Maybe we should have the other family stay for a little while. All right, mama's up everybody. What are you going to make? Rainbow brownies? I think we should serve some breakfast, maybe some scrambled eggs. Ugh, that that bowl looks nasty. Mmm, eggies, yum. I've been loving making shakshuka recently. I'm obsessed with shakshuka. I go through stages with breakfast, with kind of breakfast obsessions. It used to be broccoli omelets. Now it's shakshuka. Beautiful. The toddlers can eat that later. We're gonna work from home. Oh, Yasmin's boss was disappointed with the work she did from home and she made zero dollars. What do you mean? I thought I completed her work off camera, but I guess I forgot. It is amazing that these toddlers sleep through the night now. This is what it must feel like to be a parent in real life. <laughs> you guys who are parents are probably like Deli, you have no idea. Yasmin has full needs, so we are definitely going to fulfill some of our work today. Harvest some flowers, unfulfilled dreams. This is the problem with having wants and fears on. If you don't complete them really regularly, then they get upset. Oh God, she's crying now. Okay, let's sell the rest of the begonias. Let's be friendly with Kyle because that's one of her wants. I love you and painting so much and I also love my gardening. Oh no, our bills are $1,400. Oh yes, and our masterpiece is going to sell you guys. This is gonna be so much money. How much is it? Almost $6,000 on Plopsy. <gasps> yes, we're gonna ship that. Ship a lap. Woo! We are rich, everybody. We can pay those bills. She's like, what, I'm rich now? That's amazing. And look at that, she's feeling a lot better now. Okay, let's make a begonia arrangement. Uh, pink begonias, we'll do that. That'll help get our floristry skill up and then we'll be able to sell it. 
Apparently you can make a lot of money from floristry. I haven't really experimented with it before. Oh, Rose, you're doing a few cards. Cool. I mean, Rose is probably going to be better off having something to eat, Kyle. In fact, I can probably just like put it on the floor and Rose can help themselves to some eggs. And then after that, we can do some potty training. And actually, we can get Persephone to do the same and they might even like sit up on these chairs. Persephone loves wake up time. Persephone is often... Particularly bright and sunny upon awakening, toddlers who love waking time are more likely to be happy when they wake up compared to other toddlers. I think Rose actually had that quirk when they were an infant. Oh, uh, it'll be great when they can actually go up and down the stairs more easily. Oh my gosh, I just realized the shelf on the Murphy bed actually folds down. I didn't realize the details of the objects underneath this. That's pretty impressive. Are you going to sit on the Murphy bed to eat this? Oh, what a queen. Oh, that, oh I wanted you guys to sit on these chairs, but okay, I guess they want to sit on the Murphy bed. Disciplined toddler or child five times is our next aspiration. And, um... You want to read to the kids. Okay. I'll have to keep an eye on those. And sell these. Oh, this is beautiful, Yasmin. So how much would this sell for normally? I think it was like $80. Oh no, 115. So usually it would cost 80 or $90 to buy the flowers. And we wouldn't make much off of it. But we actually make a lot when we've grown our flowers. But we'll list it on Plopsy because we know we get a little bit more. And don't worry, we have plenty of begonias to make more arrangements with. So really, I just want to get our floristry skill up so we can be earning more money. Now, because Rose is an independent sim, they can actually go potty themselves because they are independent. Persephone doesn't have that same confidence, so they need to have that potty help. But even though you guys don't really need to go potty right now, it is great if you guys can get that practice in. We are making big potty messes over here. Well done, girls. Well done. Kyle is getting a phone call. Do you canoe? That is so creepy. Who is this? Why are they asking me why I canoe? Haha, <laughs> you just got pranked. It's Freddy. Do you canoe? I don't get it. Am I meant to get it? Oh, look at these two having a fun time. It would be nice if, you know, the toddlers could maybe make some friends. Where can we make friends? At the park. This is more like a kid's area. We could go to the library. I hear the library is a very nice build. Yay, level two of the potty skill. Persephone can now use the potty chair. All right, Kyle, you're gonna have to do a quick cleanup over here. Okay, the girls are in a fairly good mood. Rose's hygiene is maybe a bit low, so we could do a very quick quick bath time. We'll just throw them in the bath and then yeah maybe we can have a bit of an afternoon delight at the library before the girls need a nap. Yay it's like it's actually their first outing other than having been born at the hospital so this is pretty major for the girls and I think we should go as a family. I don't know why we can't go with the other grandparents. But I'm hoping there might be other toddlers there that we can actually get to know. Because I'm pretty sure if we hold a toddler catch-up, we already have to know the sims who'll be at the catch-up. I think they should patch it so that you can meet toddlers at the catch-up for the first time. Ah, uh, look at everyone looking fab in their summer wear. Let's flatter Dee Dee and um, let's hug Monty. You are looking like a sunshine today. Oh, she didn't like that. Okay. Okay, well this is the library, welcome, and we do have a fenced area over here where the toddlers can go. So let's maybe um play with some toys over here. Here you go, girls. And I'm just hoping that we'll have some other friends come in. We can ask Cora to join. We can also lock this gate. Oh, maybe we can't because this is a uh, community lot. I love how Kyle is just always dancing. He's such like a, a fun guy. I want to make more friends. Can we become friends with each other, maybe? Wait, let me just see what happens if we organize a toddler catch-up. Toddler play date, okay? So we can host it. Can we invite toddlers we don't know? This is so sad, we only know each other. Oh, how do we meet other toddlers? Are there any toddlers around? Maybe we have to start door knocking. Like I'm seriously thinking we should door knock to make friends. Imagine door knocking around the neighborhood to meet someone your kids can play with. I mean, it's not that weird if you move somewhere and want to meet your neighbors, but it's kind of weird like traveling to different suburbs to meet toddlers. Okay, here we go. The Ratliff family with the romantic fireplace have two toddlers we can meet. Let's go there. <laughs> 
Maybe we know of them through work and we wanted the toddlers to see the big city. Hi, everybody. Oh, it's cold now? Wasn't everyone just in summer wear? Hello. Come on in. Hey. Hi. I found you through the toddler play date website or something. So nice to meet you. I love how we brought our grandparents as well. Who's this? Charlie. I actually think this is one of your families. All right, we can make a friend here. We've got Maribel. Let's dance with Maribel, talk to Maribel. And then there should be one other toddler we can make friends with. Where is your other toddler? We have a kid here, unless I got it wrong. Oh, there they are. We've got little Carla. Oh my gosh, we can kick them? No. Oh, Rose. I can't believe we got, we made Rose aggressive. Now they've also tuned how different ages of Sims interact. Like for example, I think toddlers and toddlers get along really well, but then say toddlers and maybe teenagers don't get along so well, so it's harder to build a relationship. You know what, it's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. We've been here for like an hour, but I love that. You know, we love having friends. Swap baby milestone stories, yes. Oh, we're leveling up the parenting skill from talking to another parent. And Kyle's stuck with all the kids. Ooh. Ooh, we're leveling up our communication too. Let's not hit another toddler. Actually, I kind of want to hit another toddler to see what it looks like, but then I don't want to risk losing our friendship. So our only options for Rose are to kick them or talk to them. Whereas Persephone, we have many more options. Why is that? Is that because they're standing? Oh, of course, Kyle's getting down, booging down. So we're not friends with Nora yet, but we have quite a powerful relationship. You know what'll seal the deal when it comes to a friendship with Nora? If we take a selfie together. For Sims, that's like next level friendship. If you get to a selfie, it's like, we're besties. This selfie is not going as well as I had hoped. Um, but you know what? Maybe this is all they need. Are we besties? It still worked! We have amazing compatibility and we're friends. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. Well, it looks like we haven't got very far with Carla, but we're doing well with Maribel. So I'm sure we can organize a play date soon so we can actually make better friends. <gasps> What? I'm not sure if I meant to buy this, but I don't hate it. Thanks, I guess. What in the world? It was your decision to buy a $5,000 painting, okay? We did not force you. At least they didn't ask for it back and a refund. All right, well, I'm very happy with the fact that we've actually met some other toddlers. So I feel okay with going home now and getting a good night's rest. Back to ye old San Sequoia. Oh my God, we can bring B Maribel back with us. That wouldn't seem quite right, would it? All right, these two are having a sandwich before bedtime. Oh dear, it looks like bedtime has already started for Persephone. I might have pushed them a little bit with the outing today, but I just really want them to have friends. Okay, it is bedtime and we're also um, selling our begonias. That is good news. So we're gonna make $400 for this. Imagine that, imagine getting paid $400 for a bunch of flowers. We're also level two, our, level two of our entrepreneur skill. And it's good because this is also a way that flowers will stay fresh, I think. Oh, these two are asleep. And he's about to pass out, so let's get you to bed as well. It's been a big day for everyone. Going for a little morning tinkle over here. Soon we'll, we will be toilet trained, and that will be a very exciting day. Also, Rose needs to go, so we can use that independence to go potty as well. Look how cute they are, just pottying together. Yeah. Well, it's good you got it out. I'm a little concerned because Rose has been sitting on this toilet for almost an hour now and still wet. Okay, we, we did it. It took an hour, but you did it, good girl. And you know what? With this money that we've made, let's replace these dirty old appliances because these are nasty. And I want to use the brand new ones. Oh, <gasps> this is $3,000? $3,000? How much is the fridge going to be? $2,200. Oh, that's not so bad. Well, if we get these appliances, we do blow like all the money that we have, but it's gonna be fun. So let's do it. Oh, I might need a little help. BB dot move objects on. Do we wanna keep the blue theme? The green's quite nice. Yellow, orange is a bit of fun. I do like the blue. I, I think the blue's quite nice. Oh, I'm so happy to get rid of those. Yay, 
Yay, we have, we have the good stuff now. Yasmin must be so happy. I feel like, cause my kitchen in real life is so old, by buying my Sims new kitchen appliances, that actually makes me feel good. Like I get endorphins through them. Cause I imagine it's me. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Yasmin and Persephone are quite strict. I don't even know why, but maybe cause we're giving them a bar. I'm doing that thing again, where I forget to change their diapers before their hygiene goes down. I'm like waiting for a notification saying that they need their diaper changed. Okay, well, no one else needs their diaper changed for now. We can always check on the change table. Well, I guess it's fun time for Rose. Let's um get Kyle to help us. Will you help us with the tower? Oh, we've already had a tantrum. Wee! this is so fun. Here comes Persephone. I need to get those murder skills up. I mean, this kind of looks like murder skills, right? Just building blocks. Yeah, so that's movement. Okay, so that's maybe a way we can level up. Oh, we have learned to climb the stairs. That just happened. I don't think that came up as a notification. Oh, we sold another $400 bouquet. Thank you. So I'm wondering if we should maybe say that Kyle is a stay-at-home dad because it's a job and we can do that by registering with the Ministry of Labor. Let's do that. What is your title? Stay, we'll, we'll say super dad. Super dad. Yay, so then if we go to our work here, we have a job as super dad. Because really like, with the twins and then if we want to have another baby which i want to have another baby you guys because i want to see how toddlers and infants or children and infants interact but i really don't want to have twins again or triplets so i'm a little bit nervous with um with whether or not we're just going to end up having heaps of twins because there appears to be a higher likelihood with the new update oh i think kyle can discipline maybe give a talking to will that be disciplining i'm not sure if that will be the way to fulfill this unless they've made a mess and then we discipline it really makes means a lot to me that you make time for me just wanted to let you know i mean we were disciplining but i'm glad you appreciate the discipline and yasmin would like to read a book to the kids so let's maybe read a book we can read to sleep and have a little nap time how does that sound does that sound good because you are pretty tired oh no rose doesn't like being carried. Yay, sleepy time. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful big dragon and a dinosaur who had a flower on its head that had a princess and a burger. Oh my God, she's going through the book so quickly. The toddler's like, please, please slow it down. Once upon a time, there was a, I hope you didn't want any more reading. <laughs> oh, we're back again. Excuse me. You're meant to go to sleep. It's sleepy time. Oh, oh, potty time, potty time. We kind of need a potty upstairs, I think, because sometimes they're not gonna make it downstairs in time. So let's pop this up here and let's get you to go potty before you wet your diaper, which means you'll then need a bath if I forget to change it. Good girl. And then we'll get Yasmin to read you to sleep. And then hopefully we'll get up to an hour for reading. I don't really think this is working. Time for sleep. And then tomorrow we're gonna have a play date day. It's gonna be the big toddler play date. You know what? Let's schedule it right now. It's gonna be today. It's also the lottery. Let's add the toddler date today toddler play date gold event and we'll get a toddler jungle gym if we get gold okay we're gonna host it and these are the host toddlers oh <gasps> where's the guest toddlers wait sir the adult has to know the toddler to invite the toddler that's not fair the toddlers can't organize the event from their perspective ah <sighs> So we have to go meet the toddlers as adults. That is so annoying. They should have just made it like an opportunity to meet toddlers that are in the world. Cause we can't even invite the toddlers over from a toddler perspective, I don't think. Oh my gosh, we can, we can plan a stay over. Yes, three nights? Three nights with their toddler, I don't think so. Although it's not, I don't know if we want to have them for the whole night. You know what, let's do it. Let's do it. But what about the other toddler? I wanna to invite Maribel over as well. So will that cancel the event I have currently? Oh, so we can't do that. What about if I wanna have a sleepover with both toddlers? Oh, they're both here. And I love that they're here without their parents. They just got dropped off out the front of the house. I mean, Okay, the little 
suspicious, but that's fine. Are there toddler sleeping bags? Oh my God, the mini campus sleeping bag supports toddlers. What? That's wild. Okay, well, one toddler can be here. <laughs> How much is this? $160, Lord. This is what we do in order for our toddlers to make friends. Well, at least Kyle's in a great mood. All right, let's serve some breakfast so we can feed all of these toddlers. We're doing the four toddler challenge today. Oh my gosh, this toddler's outside crying probably because their parents just left them out the front of their house and they're thinking I'm at this strange house where are my mom and dad. So Rose, even though they're aggressive, they're gonna go and reassure them and say, it's gonna be okay. I just don't think it's safe having the toddlers out here on the road, but hey, ca cars don't really exist in The Sims 4, do they? Hmm? Slightly bitter about that. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, that was gonna be our friend. Well, I guess technically their sleepover was canceled, so I guess they're gone now. I should have got the parents to interact with them. I'm also gonna buy a lottery ticket because believe it or not, I have won the lottery once when I tried to start a rags or riches challenge. Literally the first day I started filming, my Sims won the lottery. I was like, why? why? <laughs> Do you wanna play with Maribel? Do you wanna play time, you two? Oh, this is cute. Well, we must be very close to making our first friend with Maribel. We just gotta keep socializing. I'm gonna sell all of these and also tend to this garden. I still can't believe they just dropped the toddlers off at the front of the house on the sidewalk. Oh, wow, we have quite a realistic painting over here. I don't think we're getting notifications for any of these milestones reached because um, we now have a first childhood friend, which is Maribel, but we, we didn't see that until now. So I guess we've got, just got to keep an eye on those things. Um, I'm getting ahead of the game and changing Persephone's diaper before they need a bath, because we actually need a bath ourselves. Oh no, where's Maribel? I lost the other child. Oh, here she is. Maribel, stop! I don't think I can do any parenting to Maribel because we're not their, we're not their parents. Oh, Dolores, how are you doing? Okay, I don't want Maribel to be here because I don't want to have to change their diaper as well. <laughs> I just wanted my kid to have a friend. I'm gonna list this on plot. Okay, I just read to one of the toddlers for a little while and it looks like we have reached one hour in our aspiration. So that's good. That is beginning to be fulfilled. I'm just a little bit unsure of how to manage Maribel because Maribel is just like having the time of their life down here. You know, we're kind of responsible for them. Maybe we should give them food. They can't eat the flowers. Oh, we can change their diaper. Okay. Would you like me to change your diaper? You yeah. would? I can change your diaper for you. And then can we tuck them in here? Oh no, we can't put them in the sleeping bag. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe we just hope Maribel puts themselves to sleep. I feel so bad. Let's just see what Maribel does the whole night. <gasps> They're making a mess in here. I mean, I don't blame them. This poor child has been standing for hours and hours on end whilst the rest of the family sleeps. This is wrong. I don't even have an option to put Maribel to sleep over here. Um, but perhaps we save these for a camping trip. Okay, Ru Rose can now use the potty chair. That's very exciting. And we're gonna give Maribel some food, but Maribel just disappeared. So I guess Maribel had enough. <laughs> This is what happens to these toddlers, they just disappear. We're gonna do some thinking cards because the thinking cards will enable us to increase our thinking skill, which means we'll be able to use the building blocks. Oh great, we just got to level two. So that does mean that we can now play shapes by ourselves. And Persephone needs a little bit of help to get to that stage. The results are in and the lucky lotto winner is, ro winner is Rosie. Isn't Rosie the dog? I'm all for dogs winning in life. And it's love day tomorrow. Well, maybe love day is the perfect day to try for a bobo. <gasps> Look who's being a naughty girl. Kyle, you'll be able to do your parenting. Discipline, recent behavior, be firm, express disappointment. We want to discipline, don't we? Wait, why are you dancing, Kyle? No, no, party boy, party boy Kyle has to go. Parenting. Oh, you missed it, Kyle. I can't believe you missed that, Kyle. Okay, I think what I will do is take Yasmin back to the friend's house so she can know the toddler so then we can host a toddler party officially that isn't like a weird sleepover with the toddlers being dropped off on the sidewalk. So we're just gonna pop over quickly and then we'll pop back. Oh, perfect, the toddler's here. Hi, hi, little one. I need to meet you so you can come play with my kids. No! 
the toddler just aged up. Are you serious? We were the only one there for your birthday. Oh no, look how sad they are. They were like, no one was here for my birthday except for this strange woman who was using me to make their kid happy. <gasps> I feel really bad about that. Oh no, we're gonna have to meet another toddler. Does anyone in this city have a toddler? Oh, here we go, Barboza. That was really sad. I feel like we're using these kids, I feel bad. But The Sims doesn't make it easy for us. Okay, we've got a couple of toddlers here that I'll introduce myself to. Might be nice to say hello to the potential parents. Oh my gosh, Maribel aged up too? No! All I want to do is have a toddler party, but they're all aging up on me. All right, we gotta quickly go home so we can host our toddler party. Okay, we're gonna have a toddler event right now with our two new toddler friends who hopefully won't age up. It's gonna be right now, folks. Yay! All right, it's toddler party time. I have no idea how our toddlers are, but um, I eat those. We have chili and moldy, e oh, spoiled eggs. Okay, don't eat that. Nobody eat that. Oh, our painting has expired on Plopsy, that's fine. So you guys can feel free to eat the chili. <laughs> I don't think chili's very good for toddlers. Welcome. All right, so ask Dallas to join playing. All the parents need to read a book to a toddler? I thought it was about the toddlers socializing to Together, you know what I mean? And I'm really glad that their parents do actually come over and don't just leave for toddlers on the on the sidewalk this time. You know what we need? We need music. We need the toddlers to dance. Because this is a party, alright? We could just use this little um boom block. That's kind of cool. Or we could use the groove tube. I like that. Just because it comes in in fun colors. Alright, can we put on Kyle? Do you want to Put on kids radio, heck yeah. Invite Dallas to dance. Look how wholesome this is. Toddler party matching PJs. Look at that, yes. Getting wild over here. And your stinky nappies. Oh, you're doing a twirl? Dallas, come join us. Oh, we are reading a book to a toddler because we need to fulfill that. We didn't get the read a book to a toddler ticked off, so I don't know why that didn't work. Yes, we got to gold. And we reached communication level five. We gotta go potty as well. This is so cute. Okay, who's who's stinking? Everyone's saying someone's stinky. It's it's us, isn't it? It is. It's Persephone. Persephone, we're going to need to change your diaper, Missy. Oh, you're doing well over here though. Chilling on the toilet. Nice. Well, what a great toddler play date. I think we will go to bed now though, because you guys are very tired. Oh, our best friend Nora. We've been thinking about trying for a baby. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. I mean, I say try for that baby. We need more toddlers to play with. Your kids are aging up too quickly. To feel a little bit more reading, hopefully. Yes, toddler play date gold. Which means we get the toddler jungle gym, which is worth five thousand simoleons. I don't even know if this is gonna fit on our property. Oh wow. Uh, I mean it does just. We could use it. Oh remember the ball pit? We could maybe use it for a day um, and then we should probably sell it and get something more useful. <laughs> I don't want this giant thing out the front of our house. Everyone will come over to our house and use it. What in the world is going on here? Well everyone's in bed now so I think I'll end this part right here. That play date was epic. Let me know if you think we should try for a baby in the next part. I think we should. I'm ready for more babies. 100 baby challenge. Let's go. No, I don't think we'll go to 100. But let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much to my members. I appreciate you guys so much for your extra support. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely subscribe for more awesome videos, more parts of this Let's Play builds and live streams. It's all happening here. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dag dag.